it's Andrea Mercy, aka Anlum, and welcome to my studio. Today is the first video in the Creative Arts Collaboration April Art Crawl event, and the hashtag this month is Trash to Treasure. So it's a celebration of recycling and found objects in art, no matter what the art is. This video is going to start a little bit differently because I had already started a project on my own that I was videotaping and then we got the hashtag and I was like oh perfect this will fit into this hashtag so I'm going to be cutting over directly to the already filmed video enjoy hi everybody it's Andrea Mercier aka Anlum and welcome to my studio today is going to be a different kind of a project I'm not going to be doing a painting or a canvas or anything like that I am going to do a home decor project <laughs> <laughs> which is funny if you know me because I'm not a crafty person at all um, I saw this at one of our local thrift stores it is a Kleenex box cover it was 49 cents and I have been looking for one to match my newly uh, renovated bathroom and I haven't been able to find anything I like but I have some leftover tile and some leftover embellishments from the contractor so in my brain I'm like I'll just tile this and then it will match my bathroom except I've never tiled anything before and I have no idea what I'm doing so I'm winging it yay <laughs> This will be either very good or a complete disaster. So I have some gesso here. I'm going to gesso it first and then I'm going to actually I have a little um, sanding block here. Just noticing the inside there's a little bit of some little bit of rough edges. There we go, that's better. Okay. I'm not going to gesso that. So I'm going to gesso this and then I'm going to paint it one of the colors in my bathroom. And then I'm going to tile over it. I'm still not sure what I'm going to use for grout. I don't know if I'm going to get real grout or if I'll use like some molding paste or something. I don't know. That's farther down the road. Let's get finished with the uh, the gessoing first. I'm going to move it this way since I seem to keep going off camera. And we'll see what happens here. Gessoed. I'll let that dry and I realized that I need to actually do the edge of this because it's going to show on the side. There we go. Let that dry. Okay, so I have two coats of gesso on this. I gave it a very, very light sanding just to take off some of the little edges where it had gooped up on the corners. This is a sample of the color in my bathroom. I had this done specifically knowing that I would be creating some art for my bathroom and I didn't want to be dipping into the leftover paint that's actually for you know re-rolling on the wall I wanted to have one that I could do art things with I have a video right here that shows you how to take latex paint 
and turn it into an acrylic paint for using on canvas. I don't need that for this project because I'm just going to be painting onto a piece of wood, but it's a really cool way of acrylicizing wall paint so that you can make a piece of art that matches the room that you're decorating. So I'm just going to apply two coats of this on here and let it dry and then we will figure out the tiling part. So I have two coats of the paint, the beige on there, and these are the tiles that are left over from my bathroom renovation. Beautiful. So originally I was going to just put five on the side, each side, and I'm like, oh my god, it fits perfectly, that's fantastic. And then I got to the edge where the piece goes in and it would block it. So now I've decided I'm going to have to go four so that I miss the edge. However, now what I need to do is something with this. So I was thinking of taking dark brown because, uh, because one of the other colors in my bathroom is this really dark brown. This is a shower curtain set that goes with all the accessories in my bathroom and what I did was I just ripped the hook off of two of them and I'm going to use those as embellishments on the top but I thought I would make a stripe along the bottom that color with some of my painters tape and then when I put this on it would cover it up nicely that's my plan so that's what I'm going to do now um, how thick should I make that? Having extra brown isn't going to be a big deal because I'm going to be filling in in the middle here and you won't be able to see it. All right. Okie dokie. So the brown is dry. I don't know if you can see that. See those little stripies? When I first started doing it, I was mad because I wasn't getting full coverage. And then I started getting the little stripies from the brush marks. And I thought, that looks really cool. So I did it all the way around. No, I am ready to start this process. I have played with this quite a bit off camera. So I'm going to do four rows with the brown. The problem is that I originally thought I would just do the four rows and then fold up this row and kind of keep going. Um, however, then there was like going to be this big gap that I wouldn't be able to fill with the, kind, the grout that I've made up. So then I realized I'm going to have to do four, cut that off, and then come back later and go over the top that way. I'm not going to completely cover the top because I won't be able to, to cut the little rounds, but I wanted like one row around so that I could have like a nice square 
edge to put these in and then I was just gonna like decorate around around the hole or I could do it straight where it was like this and with one here and one here because it I don't think the Kleenex cares right where it comes out but then there'd be no support here so I don't know at least as far as I know right now is that I have to do four rows up so that means I now have to go and trim a bunch of four rows and then trim I've been trimming off the plastic on the edge because I'm not gonna have an edge usually when these tiles are on a wall there's a, a metal flange that they get held up with so it covers that uh, and that's not gonna happen for me so I have to trim off all the little plastic edges so I just wanted to show you this part I'm gonna go off camera I'm going to cut a bunch of these into rows of four and then we're going to use a hot glue gun to adhere them to the box. Then we have to decide what to do with the top and then we have to grout. So I made up a grout. You can see here I was doing some color matching. So this is molding paste and I kind of made it um, an ochre yellowish gold because there is ochre yellow in my embellishments. I don't know if you can see that or not because my autofocus is off. So I wanted that kind of yellowish color so I made it with uh, yellow ochre, raw sienna and I added in um, some gold, pale gold and rich gold just to kind of give it a shimmer to it so it was this color here and then when I mixed it into the molding paste that um, pastelized it for lack of a better word it, it it took it down quite a few tones so I'm very happy with that so yeah I'm going to make some rows of four trim everything up and we'll come back okay so I've made a bunch of strips of four I'm very very nervous about this so I'm trying to decide should I put the glue on the tiles or should I guess I can't do that either right I'm gonna have to yeah I'm gonna have to cut these off too because I don't want that big gap at the edge so I'll have to put that on and then I'll put the back one on and then I'll put the side over the sides like that should I have gone the other way? Nope, the other way won't fit. Okay, we'll put the front and the back on first and then we'll play with the edges. Okay. Okay, so I'm starting to make decisions about the final look and feel and I've decided that the top needs some dark brown. So I'm just going to put a little bit out here and we're going to use my trusty sea sponge. of the tiling. Okay, I 
trying to clean up a bit and get rid of all of this and then I will come back and we will grout my way. <laughs> If you like this project so far, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe right here. I have links to all my social media down in the dibbly do, And I thank you so much for joining me on my artful journey. You guys make it fun. I'll talk later. Bye.